back to the channel so first of all just simply log in with your app sheet and google cloud console like this way and once you're done with that just simply click on the task number one and here you can see this link just simply open this link in incognito window like this way now just simply wait for a couple of seconds now click on this copy app button and then for the name just simply copy this name and make sure that you do not copy any extra space just simply copy like this come back over here and paste and then click on this copy app button now just simply wait and it's done now if you just scroll down and click on this check my progress you will get a score on task number one without any issue now for the task number two what you need to do in the description box of this video i will share one telegram link just simply click on that link and once you click on that link then you are able to find this file called quick lab arc 126 just simply download this file to a local system and once done with that just simply come back over here and click on this plus icon now just simply search for the google sheet over here like this just simply click over here and just simply sign in over here now if the blank spreadsheet open then click on this green icon now here you can see ticket spreadsheet just simply open this thing and then click on this file and then click on this import and just simply upload the file which you just downloaded from my telegram channel like this now click over here and from here you have to just simply choose a replace spreadsheet this option and then click on this import data now just simply wait it's loading and it's done now if you just scroll down and click on the check my progress of task number two you will get a score without any issue now for the task number three before that what you do just simply close all this tab because we don't need of them now click on this checkbox and then click on agree and continue now come back over here just simply open this link in incognito window like this way now come back over here and just simply copy this name i am again saying do not copy any extra space otherwise you are not able to get a score on the task number three just make sure of that thing just simply copy like this come back over here click on this untitled project just simply replace the project name and then click on this rename like this now just simply remove all this content scroll down and from here just simply copy this code come back over here and paste and make sure that the number of line for this code must be 26 if it's not just simply come back over here and refresh the page and once you're done with that come back over here again click on this gear icon and then click on this checkbox called show apps script json file just simply click over here and then again click on this editor and here you can see this file is visible now just simply open this file now remove this content come back over here and from here just simply copy this content come back over here and just simply paste so you are done with this now we will leave this page as it is now come back to your dashboard now here just simply search for the api and here you can see api and services just simply open this in new tab come back over here and then click on this auth Now click on this internal and then click on this create. Now for the application name, just simply scroll down and from here just simply copy this name. Do not copy any extra space, just simply copy like this and paste over here. Now click over here and then choose this user ID. Now just simply scroll down and from here you can see email address. For now just simply copy this username and just simply paste over here and then click on this save and continue. Now just simply wait, it's loading and it's done. Now again just simply scroll down and click on this save and continue and it's done. Now scroll down and click on this back to dashboard. Once you're done with this task, now just simply search for the Google Chat API like this. Now just simply click over here. Now click on this manage button. Now I request you please pay attention because this is a very important part of this lab. If you make a one single mistake then you have to just simply restart the lab. Okay, so now what you have to do, click on this configurations. Now for the application name, just simply scroll down and from here just simply copy this name. Do not copy any extra space. Just simply copy like this and paste over here. Now just simply scroll down for the avatar URL, just simply copy this. Come back over here and paste. Now for the description, just simply copy this thing and paste over here like this now i request you please pay attention you have to click on this checkbox called receive one is to one message because i saw most of you guys miss this point so make sure of that you have to click on this checkbox once you click on this now just scroll down and here you can see connection setting from here you have to just simply choose a second option called app script project now here you can see it's asking for the deployment id for that what you do just simply come back over here on the app script now what you have to do if you just simply click on this deploy and then click on this new deployment we will see one kind of error just simply wait and watch here you can see please save the manifest file so just simply click on this cancel and then click on this save project now here you can see all these two 
icon gone now again click on this deploy and then click on this new project now just simply wait it's asking for the change project just simply click over here now just simply wait now if you just scroll down and here you can see click on here now what we have to do we have to give the project number make sure that we don't have to give the project id we have to give the project number how can we get that just simply click on this here now from here you can see project number and project id you have to copy the project number so just simply copy this number carefully come back over here and paste and then click on this set project now just simply wait and it's done now again click on this deploy and then click on this new deployment now just simply wait and it's asking for the de description now you can just simply skip that and then click on this deploy and here you can see deployment id now just simply copy this deployment id come back over here and just simply paste the deployment id over here now come back to the lab instructions and from here just simply copy this username come back over here just simply scroll down and here you can see visibility just simply paste the username over here like this and now just simply click on this save button now just simply wait for a couple of seconds i request you please pay attention over here now here you can see configuration save now if we just simply scroll up and here you can see we are not getting any information like app status live okay now what here to do we have to just refresh the page just simply refresh the page once you're done with all these things now just simply wait and here you can see app status is live once you see this app status again just simply scroll down and click on this save button make sure that you have to click on the save button for two times okay now just simply wait and configuration save once you see this thing that mean you have done with the 90 percent of this lab now what you do just simply scroll down and here you can see google chat just simply open this link in incognito window now just simply wait and click on here and click on this unwanted pop-up now click on this plus icon and then click on this find app like this way now for here what you have to do just simply copy this name copy like this make sure that you do not copy extra space just simply copy like this paste and hit enter one more thing guys if you are not able to find the attend attendance bot over here then you can do one thing more you can just simply come back over here and if you just simply scroll up and here you can see you can just simply copy this name and just search over here if you still not able to find the attendance bot over here that means you have make a mistake while editing the file you have to just simply restart the lab you can't do anything about that now what you have to do click on this add and then click on this chat now just simply wait and it's done now you can just simply type any message like hey and just simply wait and here you can see we got this response once you got this response if you just scroll down and click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please do let me know in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys